Society for the Filipino is a small rowboat, the barangay. Geography for the Filipino is a small locality, the barrio. History for the Filipino is a small vague saying, matanda pa kay mahuma noong peacetime. Enterprise for the Filipino is a small stall, the sari-sari. Industry and production for the Filipino are the small immediate searchings of each day, isang kahig, isang tuka. And commerce for the Filipino is the smallest degree of retail that in Go to any exhibit of Philippine artifacts and the items that from our cultural heritage but confirm three theories about us, which should be stated again. that the Filipino works best on small scale, tiny figurines, small pots, filigree work in gold or silver, decorative arabesques. The deduction here is that we feel adequate to the challenge of the small but are cowed by the challenge of the big. Second, that the Filipino chooses to work in soft, easy materials, clay, molten metal. Tree searching has failed to turn up anything really monumental in hard stone. Even carabao horn, an obvious material for native craftsmen, has not been used to any extent remotely comparable to the use of ivory in the ivory countries. The deduction here is that we feel equal to the materials that yield but evade the challenge of materials that resist. Third, that having mastered a material, craft or product, we tend to rot in it and don't move on to a next phase, a larger development, based on what we have learned. In fact, we instantly lay down even what mastery we already possess when confronted by a challenge from outside of something more masterly, instead of being provoked to develop by the threat of competition. Faced by the challenge of Chinese porcelain, the native art of pottery simply declined though porcelain should have been the next phase of our pottery makers. There was apparently no effort to steal and master the arts of the Chinese. The excuse offered here that we did not have the materials for the techniques for the making of porcelain unites in glum, brotherhood, yesterday's pottery makers and today's would-be industrialists. The native pot got buried by Chinese porcelain as Philippine tobacco is still being buried by the blue seal.
have our capacities been so diminished by the small efforts we are becoming incapable even to the small things? Our present problems are surely not what might be called colossal or insurmountable, yet we stand helpless before them. As the population swells, those problems will expand and multiply. If they daunt us now, will they crush us then? The prospect is terrifying.